All right, back by popular demand. Today we're going to do a box and whisker plot, doing a comparison of two sam subsamples, um, a paired t test, if you will, followed with a Kruska Wallace. Um, we're going to show you how that how to do that today, so that way you can compare two independent groups rather than an ANOVA, looking at the entire variance. First, you want to make sure you have your libraries loaded and packages. For this one, we're going to need ggpub r for publication ready figures. So just to double check, let's make sure we have all of our proper libraries. You might not need all of these libraries. At least you'll need ggpub r and ggplot2. We need our data. I always like to clean the global environment before loading my data set in. And today we're going to look at beta-glucosidase, which is an extracellular enzyme that I measured in some of my research. And we're going to compare to see if there are differences between treatments. Initially, we have our GG plot, genome box plot, our treatment by beta, beta-glucosidase, and we're filling it by treatment. And our scale is viridis, and D stands for distinct. That way it's colorblind friendly. Theme is classic, so there's no grid lines in the background. And we're just labeling the y-axis with beta-glucosidase. That gives us a plot that looks a little bit like this. Okay, but yes, I'll put it, spoiler alert, I have no differences in my data. That doesn't mean we can't look for it, just in case you're starting to, and you want to see if there are actually differences. So how might we do that? If I were to just jump to it, in the GG plot with the geome box plot, scale color viridis, classic theme and the same Y axis label, um, we'd have the same plot. We wanna compare the means of these four boxes though. If I jumped ahead without distinguishing the comparisons I want to see, we will get an error. Since I called out my comparisons, it says it's not found. That's because I haven't loaded it yet. So. You can make your comparisons as such or whatever data you want to compare. So I'm only doing a couple, but you need to set an o set their own field. So I'm going to show a comparison between control, drought, control, and drought fire, and control and our fire treatments. Here we have a new data set that we're creating with the list, and we're titling it control, comma, drought. So that's the first comparison. Second comparison, control, comma, fire. And third comparison, control, comma, drought, fire. If we wanted to do drought versus fire, you can add that. You can add any comparison you want within the boundaries of your treatments and your data. To not bog down this video, I'm just going to do the three. So again, back to our box plot, comparing beta by treatment, GG plot. We have to call our data. And we have to say on the x-axis, we want it to be our treatment. On the y-axis is the measurement we're looking at. In this case, beta-glucosidase. We're using a, a geome box plot to make it a box and whisker plot. And again, we're saying x is treatment, y is beta, and then we want it to be filled with color. Maybe you don't, but in this instance we do. So fill by treatment. We're doing scale color viridis for colorblind friendly palette theme classic, so there aren't any grid lines. The y-axis we want to have labeled beta-glucosidase rather than just beta. So when it's publication ready, we know what specific enzyme, and we're not just abbreviating. Now we're in stat compare means. And then the comparisons will be set equal to my comparisons. So we're adding this list into our GG plot. And then our method that we're using in this instance is a Wilcox test. Perhaps you want it to be a t-test. Perhaps you want it to be a one-way ANOVA. Your choice, you just have to distinguish that. And then this stat compare means label on the Y will place roughly in the open space where that p-value and Wilcox test will be listed. So I'll show it without at first and then with so without that specific label without that specific label yeah. 
still I still haven't loaded the my comparisons. <laughs> all right. See, mistakes happen in real time, folks. It's all good. So without the label, this is the comparisons that we made with the label. You now have on your plot, it says Kruskal Wallace. It gives you the overall P value. All right. If you want to know further details, I will link a web page that helped me through this. Um, that will further explain or give you more examples than just this one. I'll also link down below the uh, ggplot cheat sheet for your disposal. All right. Thank you.